Hey everybody and welcome to a new video. Um, I am going to do a fall book haul for you. It's probably from like August to almost end of November. I haven't done one in a while and I have a lot of books and I'm just really excited to show you and they're right now right in front of me on top of my bookshelf, not in it. Um, yeah, so I think I will just get started. Um, these next three books I actually got in the same same haul, and I did come up with three books because it was buy two, get the third free, and I was like, might as well get three. And I went with my friends to go try on bridesmaid dresses for my friend's wedding in April, and I was there early because I went straight from work there, and I got there earlier than I expected, so I just went to Barnes & Noble and kind of hung out. And I got these three, um, The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I haven't heard much about this, but it was a classic, and it was small. And I figured as an English major, I need to read more classics. Um, so this one, I figured this one was short, and it was a way to get like another classic under my belt that a lot of people haven't read. And I have this beast of a book here, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. They actually have a movie of this with Maggie Smith, who plays McGonagall, and Daniel Radcliffe, who plays Harry Potter in it. And that was how she met Daniel Radcliffe and suggested him for the role. Fun fact, if you didn't know that, um, because she knew him from he played David Copperfield. And I wanted to read this for a while, and it looks like it's got some cool, like, illustrations in it. But I think that's just, like, this Barnes & Noble Classics edition, but I'm really excited about it. There is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I've actually never read the entire thing. I've read, like, chapters here and there, and I've seen the play multiple times, and I just finished watching, um, Little Women, the YouTube. So there are a few things that I, like, can't remember that happened, so I'm from the play, because I've seen the play. I saw the play when I was, like, a sophomore in high school, so that was, like, seven, eight years ago, so I'm really excited to read the book. And I didn't watch the movie from my class when I was supposed to, because I fell asleep. So, oops. These next two I'm going to show you were from a Barnes & Noble run when I went with my friend Kelly and our other two friends, and these two I did get in the same and there's other ones that are sprinkled throughout because the hardcovers are in a different stack. Anyway, but these two I got from Barnes & Noble, and they are Geek Girl by Holly Smalley, and it seemed really interesting to me because a, it's a geek girl, and I am a geek girl. It's like a girl who's really kind of nerdy, and like she has an Oxford English Dictionary on her nightstand, but then she gets picked up by a modeling agency. It's really interesting. It sounds really interesting. Um, I clearly haven't read it yet because I have tons of books here that I haven't read yet, but it sounds really, really interesting, and I'm really excited for it by an author who has written so many books, but I, every book I've read by her I love, and that is The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult, and this is one of her newest um, books, and I've been accumulating her books, not in any particular order. Okay, so these two books here I got from Target, I got, uh, this is another author who wrote a lot of books that I'm accumulating slowly one by one, and it's Message in a Bottle by Nicholas Sparks, and the Guardian by Nicholas Sparks. I got those. His books are always really sad, as are Jodi Picoult's. They always make me really sad and really cryy and all that stuff. That leads me into the next four books I bought of five that I got on a trip to the Goodwill. Um, I mean, it was a dollar ninety nine per book, so I had to get it. It's like two bucks for a book. That's not even. One of them has a sticker on it for like fourteen dollars. Anyway, I bought Knights in Rodanthe by Nicholas Sparks, which is thin, and I know they made it into a movie too, which I haven't seen yet. But Nights in Rodanthe I know was made into a movie as well, so I'm excited for that. And then these next three are all Jodi Picoult books that I got from the Goodwill, and they are Sing You Home by Jodi Picoult, Change of Heart by Jodi Picoult. This one is the one that has a sticker that says the publisher list was $16, your price was $12, and I got it for $2. So, win for me. And Mercy by Jodi Picoult, which is one of the first books she read, because it was like published in like 1996, and in 1996 I was four years old. Um, these next three are three different instances. I'll just go quickly. And I saw this, and it reminded me of a TV show that I'd seen, or I saw one episode of and didn't actually watch it, and it's actually based off of like a French TV show, um, which we made into an American TV show. I think it was only on for a couple seasons. But it's The Returned by Seth Patrick. I can't remember the name 
of the TV show that we have. I wonder if it's called The Returned, but it was about, like, um, one day everyone, like, people who had died just started to come back to life, which I think is really interesting. I'm really excited to read it. And then this book is actually really cool. I got this from a, um, the author of this actually works at the school where I work, so that's really cool. Um, this is the first book in a trilogy, but only the first one is written. And he gave it to me for free, which was really nice of him anyway. Um, and it's Dreaming Beyond Gaia, Our Forgotten Fathers, Book One, by Adam Osterkamp. Um, and Adam Osterkamp works at my school. Um, I think I might actually, I don't usually do reviews, but I think I might actually do a review of this, just because I know him, and it might be kind of cool. And this one is The Good Girl, by Mary Kubica. And then she, like, goes to a bar, and she meets a stranger, and he ends up her and stealing her and hiding her in Minnesota. It seems like something really exciting. I hope this angle works. Um, I did have to move this because of the book that it was stacked upon are also going to be in my book haul. I got The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the first one in her Raven Cycle Quartet. I think these are four. Um, but I'm really excited about it. And Shades of Milk and Honey by Mary Robinette Kowal which is the first book, the Glamour series. So it's more exciting to like read their books now that I've actually seen them. I haven't met them, but I've seen them, which is really cool. Next two books I got at a Barnes & Noble outing. Trouble from the Start by Rachel Hawthorne, which is the Boyfriend Project by Rachel Hawthorne is about... This book's about Avery and Fletcher. And this one's about Avery's friend Kendall and her boyfriend Jeremy. And then this is the fifth and final book I bought at the Goodwill when I went. Um, and I've read this book already, but I read it as a borrowed book. So I'm reading it now. I have Water for Elephants by Sarah Brune. I needed to just own this book. Four I got together. It looked really interesting. I hadn't heard anything about it, but the cover was really pretty too. And it's The Invisibles by Cecilia Galante. But I think we should read this as our book club. Of course, a Neil Gaiman book. And I bought American Gods by Neil Gaiman, and the font in this is like, I don't know if you can see that, it's tiny, but I love Neil Gaiman, and I'm sure I'll fly through. These last two are continuations of a book I already have. I already have Biggest Flirts. I have that book, and I've read it. It's like a, tr it's like a trilogy, but they're companion novels together. Um, and so there's Perfect Couple by Jennifer Eccles. And then there's Most Likely to Succeed, which follows their third friend, Kay. And I have two more in the stack. The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. This will be the fifth one of hers that I've read of 12. And this last one is one where I've heard bad things about the author as a person. But this is just one of those books where I, like, have to read it because everyone talks about it and I've never read it. And that is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I know it was made into a movie that wasn't super good, so I'm very interested. It seems kind of sci-fi-y, and I'm not really into the sci-fi. Right, I have one, two, three, four, ten more books to show you quickly. Let me just jump right on into have, um, this one. Of course, I had to buy this. This was my newest purchase. That was Winter by the Lunar Chronicles. It's the fourth book in the Lunar Chronicles. I love the Lunar Chronicles. You just need to have this in your collection. If you're going to be a Lunar Chronicle lover, I'm excited to get back into it and see what happens to all of my favorite characters. And it's P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This is the Dusk Jacket because the book is currently over there. I'm reading it. Um, but I bought it because I just had to read it. Because you have to read that if you're a Jenny Han fan. This one because I've heard nothing but good things about it. And it's by a, a YouTuber. And it's We Should Hang Out Sometime by Just Sunquist. But I really want to read it. Um, I'm hoping to get to that very, very soon. Next book I bought, but this is one of the ones on my also TBR list. This was actually a book that I didn't know had existed, and it was one that's like, I just need to finish my collection, and that's Dangerous Deception by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This is the second book in the Dangerous Creatures series, which is um, a spinoff of Beautiful Creatures. I think this is the last one. I just love this. There are three kinds of girls in the world. Good girls, bad girls, and really Duchesne. And that is 99 Days by Katie Katugno. Um, it sounds really interesting. I think it's Katugno. Katungo? I don't even know. Why is it kind of crooked? I don't like that. I do like how like, the inside of the book is colors like this. There are pictures, which I think is really cool. It's like that on the front, too. And then this is the naked cover. This is one of the ones I bought at Barnes & Noble. 
The Underwriting by Michelle Miller. This is an adult book, which is not usually the books I go for, but it was 20% off. I loved the pink writing. Um, it looks kind of like cool, naked. Um, but I just, it sounded really interesting, and I need to read some more adult books as well. Alright, these last three, technically four books, um, I've gotten. Yeah, recently. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is this one at the bottom of my hardcover stack because it's big and weird. is Username Evie by Joe Sugg. It smells so good. But yeah, I'm just super excited to read it and I wanted to support Joe. And that's how that works. The next book I have to talk about is actually Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg. I'm going to put a picture right here while I talk about it because I don't want to get it out of the shelf because there's like a bunch of books on top of it and I wasn't prepared and I didn't pull it out and I don't want to do it quick because I'm going to knock everything over and it's not really what I want to do right now with my life. Um, but it's the second book in her Girl Online series and I'm really excited about it. The next, the last two books I'm going to show you I actually bought on Halloween with my sister and I looked in the classic section and I saw this beautiful book. It's also fitting for the holiday, but it is this copy of Dracula and Other Horror Stories by Bram Stoker. This is a beautiful, beautiful book. Look at the pages are lined in silver, and the insides are like blood red. It's beautiful and gorgeous. It's got one of these, like, ribboning things. But I've never actually read Dracula, and I was like, I'm such a stupid English major. Like, I'm so bad. Why have I never read this? And I saw this beautiful edition, and I was like, that's why I've never read it, because it was saving for me to get this beautiful edition. And then I also got Essential Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe to follow up with this spooky theme. This one's not as beautiful as that. I'm really excited to read that as well. And that is all for my kind of spontaneous, spur of the moment book haul, um, which I'm really excited about. And I would like to thank you all for watching. Please comment down below if you've read any of these books. Comment down below. I love to see hear those kinds of things. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would really appreciate it. Hey. Um, these next three...